Welcome, Age of Vintage Society. In the decades since the Black Dahlia murder, police, the press and amateur investigators alike have been fascinated with this case and came up with several convincing theories. Though we may never know who really killed the Black Dahlia, poring over the evidence in this enigmatic case is just as darkly fascinating now as it was in 1947. Why has the famous Black Dahlia case never been solved? Make sure to watch the video until the end and leave your thoughts in the comments. If you are new here, join our wonderful community by subscribing to the Age of Vintage channel. Investigating the Unsolved Black Dahlia Mystery The slaying of Elizabeth Short, aka the Black Dahlia, is far stranger than any fiction. One of the America's oldest and most notorious cold cases involved the murder of a beautiful young aspiring actress near Hollywood, California. There were many persons of interest and a handful of serious suspects. No murder weapons were ever located. The body had been severed at the waist, along with many other disturbing injuries requiring surgical precision. Who was Elizabeth Short? Over 70 years after this mystery, the Black Dahlia case remains open. The 1947 murder of Elizabeth Short, known as the Black Dahlia, is the oldest unsolved murder in the history of Los Angeles, as well as one of its most mysterious, making it one of America's most horrific and mysterious unsolved cases. <laughs> Jack the Ripper remains the most notorious real-world fiend to have never been identified, much less apprehended. Yet the most famous unsolved murder case, at least stateside, is that of the Black Dahlia, aka Elizabeth Short, whose body was found in Los Angeles' Laymart Park in January 1947. Short was born on July 29, 1924 in Boston, Massachusetts, the third of five daughters born to Cleo and Phoebe May Sawyer Short. Cleo abandoned the family when Short was five years old. At a young age, Short developed a strong affinity for cinema. By her teens, she had set her sights on becoming an actress. A mother and her toddler found Elizabeth Short's body. On the morning of January 15, 1947, Betty Bursinger was pushing her three-year-old daughter Anne in a stroller down the sidewalk, heading to a shoe repair shop. She paused when she noticed what she thought was a mannequin lying in the grass. But as she looked closer, she discovered it was something much more alarming – a mutilated corpse. Bursinger grabbed Anne and ran to a nearby house where she used the telephone to call the police. Authorities arrived on the scene just a few minutes later, kick-starting what would become a years-long investigation that many people are still trying to solve. There was no blood found at the scene. The body Bursinger discovered was in very bad condition. In addition to being cut completely in half at the waist and having her intestines removed, Short's mouth had been slashed from ear to ear, giving her face a ghastly, semi-smiling appearance, known as a Glasgow smile. Her body had also been washed clean before it was left to be found. Despite the severe mutilation, there was no blood at the scene, leading police to conclude that the young woman had been murdered somewhere else, drained of blood, then cleaned before the killer dumped her body. The FBI identified Short with fingerprints and a proto-fax machine. In order to identify the body, the Los Angeles Police Department pulled fingerprints off the corpse, which it then sent to the FBI through a device called a sound photo, a forerunner to the fax machine. About an hour later, the FBI got a hit and was able to identify the victim as 22-year-old Elizabeth Short. 
Short's fingerprints had been entered into the system twice before. Once when she applied to work in the commissary of a US Army base, and once when she was arrested in Santa Barbara, California on September 23, 1943, for underage drinking. The Black Dahlia nickname has murky origins. There are a number of competing theories about who exactly coined Short's infamous moniker. Some say it was a media invention, while others claim Short's friends had nicknamed her Black Dahlia. But most accounts pin the inspiration on a film noir written by Raymond Chandler that hit theatres one year before the murder. The Blue Dahlia, starring Veronica Lake. Why the switch from blue to black? The FBI cites a rumour that Short wore lots of black clothing, but some reports point to her dark hair colour instead. Some linked the case to the Cleveland Torso Murders. When Short's death became national news, police officers in Cleveland felt an awful sense of déjà vu. Between 1934 and 1938, a serial killer had terrorised their city, claiming 12 victims. Some theorised that the Ohio serial killer and Short's murderer could be the same person, especially since, like Short's killer, the perpetrator of what came to be known as the Cleveland Torso Murders was never caught. It was also connected to a lipstick murder. One month after Short's murder, another woman's body was discovered in Los Angeles, and the circumstances mimicked the Black Dahlia's case in a few ways. It all began with a stranger, in this case a construction worker, stumbling upon the body of a woman in the grass. Jean French had dark hair like Short's, and her face was also badly beaten. But this time, there was an unusual message scrawled on her stomach in bright red lipstick. Just below that were the letters T-E-X. People were quick to link the B-D in the gruesome murder to the Black Dahlia, but the police were wary of officially connecting the two. Like Short, French's murder was never solved. Many people confessed to the crime. The LAPD had to rule out many suspects in the Black Dahlia investigation, including several people who turned themselves in. Though some sources quote a lower number, the Los Angeles Times puts the tally of false confessions in Short's case at more than 500. The phony claims came from housewives, clergymen, soldiers, drunk ramblers and, much later, pranksters who weren't even alive when Short's life was brutally taken. No charges were ever filed. The FBI files on the Black Dahlia case indicate that many men were held for questioning, and some even took polygraph tests. But ultimately, no one was ever charged with Short's murder. Still, a few names stand out. George Hodel is one of the most notorious suspects. One of those names is George Hodel, a physician who ran a venereal disease clinic in Los Angeles in the 1940s. According to The Guardian, Hodel was on a list of six primary suspects in the Black Dahlia case, and the LAPD even bugged his home during the investigation. But Hodel, who died in 1999, gained more recent notoriety when his son, Steve Hodel, accused him of killing Short in the 2003 best-selling book Black Dahlia Avenger – The True Story. Steve claims his father's handwriting matches strange letters the police received, supposedly from the killer. He also uncovered photos of a woman who resembles Short in his father's personal photo album, and believes Hodel's medical background will explain the precise clinical cuts on the body. But some have discounted Steve's claims, since he started linking his father 
to other infamous unsolved murders, including the Zodiac killings. Others think it was a bellhop. Another name that's popular among Black Dahlia theorists is Leslie Dillon. He appears in the FBI case files, but gained renewed attention in 2017 when author Pew Eatwell argued his guilt in her book Black Dahlia Red Rose. Dylan was a bellhop, writer and mortician's assistant who seemed to know a surprising amount of details about Short's murder when the LAPD hauled him in for questioning. He was eventually let go, thanks to a dirty cop according to Eatwell. But some of the detectives investigating the case never forgot him. In 2018, Buzz Williams, a retired officer with California's Long Beach Police Department and the son of Richard F. Williams, part of the LAPD's gangster squad, told Rolling Stone that my dad thought Leslie Dillon was the killer and that other cops suspected that Dillon was, at the very least, an accomplice. Generations of LAPD and amateur detectives have tried to unravel the case and expose the monster responsible once and for all. The case then went cold, and despite law enforcement's efforts, more than seven decades later, the Elizabeth Short murder remains unsolved. The FBI on its history site wrote, Who killed the Black Dahlia and why? It's a mystery. The murderer has never been found, and given how much time has passed, probably never will be. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new here, and if you want to support my work, please visit my Patreon page. Now it is your turn. What do you think? Will the famous Black Dahlia case ever be solved?